Hey everybody, it's David Pingree. We're out here at Milestone today with the 2018 Honda CRF 450 doing another dialed in installment. Uh, we did do the 2017 model, but there's enough changes this year. We wanted to revisit it and kind of go over some of those settings. The main change is to the suspension. And in 2017, I love the way that bike worked. Uh, the spring rate for me seemed just right, but I'm a little on the light side for a 450. So there were some guys that thought it felt a little soft at times. So for 2018, they went to a stiffer spring rate, but they adjusted the valving so that even guys like myself uh, would, would still feel like it was working for them. And today was my first day really putting some time on this. And I, I tell you what, I, I, I got to agree with them. I expected it to feel much stiffer, uh, less compliant on the little bumps, and it, it actually worked great. Uh, we did make a few changes, so I'm going to go over a couple of things. First, where Honda recommends this bike stock, or the way it should come from your dealer. Okay, so we'll run through those really quick. In terms of fork height, you're going to be at 5 millimeters, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later because that can adjust. Um, you're going to be at 13 out on your uh, fork compression, 12 out on your rebound. Um, as far as the forks go, Honda recommended going to 11 so uh, on your compression so stiffening it up just a touch if you go with all of the stock settings on here where the way it'll come from your dealer it's going to feel a little bit stink bug that's sort of what they've found so they made an adjustment and then i adjusted even further from there so what honda recommends is going to 11 on your compression so go in a couple clicks on your compression adjuster here on the fork and then in terms as far as your your fork height in the clamp it comes at five mils, but they said anytime they were at a track that's high speed uh, or has hills, you want to drop this to three mils. So drop the fork in the clamp, and that'll just give it a little more stability. It's going to hold the front end of the bike up coming down the hills so you don't feel like it's, it's tucking under. Uh, and they said really across the board that was a better setup. The only time they liked it at five is places like Milestone here where it's stickier, tighter, jumpy. Uh, but no really high speed stuff or no hills. So today we're at five, but again, that's uh, definitely try three mil on that four cut. I think, I think people are gonna like that. And uh, just for your own records, last year they were at a four eight spring, they're at a five oh this year. Okay, so for myself, I ended up going even two more clicks on the compression, so I'm all the way into nine. Uh, I just wanted the front end a little bit higher and uh, particularly, you know, I was braking hard. I, I would get the front end dive in just a touch. So for me, that's what I liked. So it'll come stock at 13. Honda recommends 11. I recommend 9. So find something that works for you. Uh, as far as the shot goes, uh, last year was a 5.4 spring. This year's a 5.6. So it is stiffer. They are gonna, uh, it's going to come standard with your low speed compression, 10 out. High speed compression, 3 and a quarter turns out. Uh, rebound at 8. And SAG at 105 is what Honda will recommend or your dealer. Uh, what Honda here, the media department and the testing department, the guys that have found who put a lot of hours on this bike, uh, keep your low speed at 10, high speed compression at three and a half, out, rebound at six out, and SAG at 107. And that 107 number is key. Uh, they, they said that really, you know, as with any bike, balance is, is key, making the thing uh, not be high or low in the front. And that 107 number is where you want to be. They've had a lot of luck with that, so don't stray from it. 107. Um, I set my sag at 107, and we got it to work great. The only changes I made, just if you want to try these, my low, low speed compression, I went to nine out, so I went a little bit in, one click. My high speed compression, I opened up. I'm at three and three quarters of a turn out. Again, I was having just a little bit of a, a front end divey feel, like the back end was slightly high. So by opening up that high speed compression, it lets the back of the bike just squat a little more. And uh, for me, it would settle into turns better. When I came in, into turns and I'm on the brakes hard, it didn't want to pop up. It kind of stayed level and made me a lot more comfortable. Uh, rebound, I went in. Uh, Honda will recommend eight. Honda Media recommends six. And I went to five, so I slowed it down even more. Uh, SAG 107, as I mentioned. And uh, that's going to do it for your suspension. I think you, you stick to those and, and that 107 SAG, kind of play around with some of those numbers where, where we were you're gonna be really happy with this stuff. It's plush, it handles big hits well, it's, it's really, really, really good stuff. Uh, I was nervous again, like I said, going to a heavier spring that it would be harsh and really firm feeling this year. Not the case at all. They sorted it out with valving, it works great. Uh, so we talked on fork height. I do wanna mention the maps, that was another thing. Map number one has changed for 2018. It's uh, a little bit torquier, 
Uh, they made some adjustments to compensate for the electric start. And also last year, something I noticed on the 17, I recommended going up a tooth. Uh, not something I really like to do or normally recommend, but I just found myself not quite enough power coming out of the turns. So this new map compensates for that. The stock gearing's perfect, leave your stock gearing alone. You're gonna love that number one map. If it gets slippery, uh, the traction control map, which is map two, is good. Hard slick, uh, wet slick. It's a really, really nice, smooth, rolled on power. When there's good traction, I don't think you're gonna like it as much. And then three is an aggressive map. To me, it's just a little too much. It's, uh, I, I find myself not as smooth, not as precise, hitting my lines. But elevation, sand, um, certain situations, you may find yourself liking that. So play with those maps and get comfortable with them because it's gonna be track specific when you use those. Um, so again, that's it. I, I didn't really mess with anything else on this bike. Uh, most everything else is similar to last year, so not a whole lot of changes other than that. Great motorcycle. The changes they made are, made are big and they're, uh, they are definitely steps forward. Love the electric start. Um, and I think you, you plug these settings in on your suspension, get comfortable with those maps, play with the three of those and find which ones you like where, and you are going to love your 2018 CRF 450. Thanks for watching Dialed In. I'm David Pingree. We'll see you on the next one.